2.3 Atomic Orbitals The learning objective for this top topics are Students should be able to explain the shape of orbitals in terms of electron distribution and students should be able to sketch the shape of S and P orbitals. So, how do we get the shape of orbitals? It's from the electron distribution in orbital. Distribution of electrons can be described using electron density. The density of electrons are delocalized forming orbitals, a collection of orbitals contributing to the overall size and shape of an atom. So this is the image of an atom and this is the cross-sectional image of the atom. So you can see that the center of this uh, sphere is the nucleus. Okay, so at the nucleus, refer to this table, this is the distance from nucleus and this is the electron density. So at the nucleus, the, the density of electron is zero. Okay, as the distance uh, increase, the density increase up to one point that it has the most uh, density of electron. And then the density started to decrease until it reaches the node. Node is where the region of none of the electron exists. And then, this is shell 1. So, shell 2, the density of electron started to increase when the distance is getting further, up to one point where you can see most of the electrons reside at those regions. And then, when the distance increase, the density of electrons start to decrease. Okay, so we shall see the orbital of an atom that has more than one uh, shell. So this is an atom with three shells. Shell one, since one only have one, sorry, so sh since shell one only has one orbital, which is 1s, so this is the orbital of shell 1. And then shell 2 has 2s and 2p, so this is 2s, the sphere shape, and 2p is the dumbbell shape. We have three orientation of 2p, this is pz, this is px, and then py. And shell 3. This is 3s orbital, which is sphere shape. So s is the, the shape of orbital. So s means the shape is spherical. P means the shape is dumbbell, or it looks like two balloons tied at the nodes. And d orbitals is a clover leaf shape, or mainly like four balloons tied at the nodes. Okay, so when L equals to 0, the orbital is S, and the shape is sphere. So, S orbital has only one orientation. Each principal energy level has one S orbital. Lowest energy orbital in a principal energy state, the shape is spherical, and as N increases, the S orbitals get larger. And this is when L equals to 1, so the shape is dumbbell. This is called P orbitals. P orbitals has three orientation. It's Px, Py, and Pz. This is the second lowest energy orbitals in a principal energy level. Um, and the shape is 2 loop. And this is when L equals to 2. Uh, it is called the D orbitals. So D orbitals has five orientation. This is dxy, dyz, dxz, dx square y square, and dz square. So we have four uh, orientation that has the shape of four loop, and one orientation with the shape of two loop with a donut shaped ring along the xy plane.